The Apollo 13 was supposed to be NASA's third moon landing. Instead, it turned into a tense battle for survival. The Apollo 13 spacecraft launched on April 11, 1970 from the Kennedy Four, Space Center. Three, one, zero. We have commit and we have liftoff at 2.13. The Saturn V building up to 7.6 million pounds of thrust and it has cleared the tower. The crew consisted of three men. James Arthur Lovell Jr., the commander of the Apollo 13, Jack Swigert, the command module pilot, and Fred Wallace Hayes Jr., the lunar module pilot. The objective of the mission was to land on the moon, and for nearly 56 hours after takeoff, it looked to be smooth sailing. Apollo 13, wish everybody there a nice evening, and uh, we're just about ready to close out our inspection of Aquarius and get back for a pleasant evening at Odyssey. The spacecraft had traveled just over 200,000 miles from Earth and was approaching the Moon's orbit. Suddenly, there was a loss of cryogenic oxygen from the service module, causing an electrical fault and one of the spacecraft's oxygen tanks to explode. Now, with the oxygen tanks rapidly emptying, they would soon have no water, no electricity, and no oxygen. Okay, here we've had a problem here. Ground controllers in Houston mobilized. The mission no longer about getting the crew to the moon, it was now about somehow getting them back to Earth. 57 hours, 46 minutes, ground elapsed time. The black team of flight controllers is now on station in Mission Control Center looking at possible alternate missions as we have an apparent serious oxygen leak in the cryogenic oxygen in the service module. And now in the process of powering down the command module. Houston ordered the crew to make their way into the separate landing module, Aquarius. Originally intended to land them on the moon's surface, now it needed to keep the crew alive long enough for them to transfer back to the damaged command module for re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. The Aquarius was only designed to be used for a short period while on the moon, but if they were to have a chance of making it back to Earth, they would now need to use the Aquarius for life support for around 90 hours. The crew turned off all non-critical systems aboard the spacecraft to reduce energy consumption and cut way back on their consumption of water in order to have enough to cool Aquarius's overtaxed hardware. This was not easy. They had to limit their water intake to a dangerous extent, and without electrical power, the temperature in the spacecraft dropped to almost freezing. They also had another problem. Way too much carbon dioxide was building up at Aquarius. If this was not removed, the crew would die from the high carbon dioxide levels. Ground controllers came up with a plan to clear the carbon monoxide. They instructed them to build a mailbox out of plastic bags, cardboard, and tape in order to remove the gas using canisters from the command module. Now they had conserved enough water and had limited carbon dioxide, they needed to figure out how to get back to Earth with such limited resources. With careful coordination between ground control and the astronauts, they came up with a plan to use the moon's gravity as a gravitational slingshot. However, this maneuver would need to be timed correct. Changes in propulsion and direction needed to be extremely precise. Otherwise, they risked missing Earth and being sent off into deep space. The astronauts, with the guidance of ground control, flew the Apollo close enough to the moon to get into its field of gravity, but not so close as to be pulled into it. Apollo 13 revolved around the moon, picking up momentum from the orbital velocity. Then at the right escape point, they turned on their boosters, which allowed them to slingshot out of the moon's orbit, propelling them towards Earth. The crew had been in the freezing Aquarius for three long days, 
but on April 17th, they re-entered the command module for the last stretch of the journey home. As they sped towards Earth, the command module reached speeds as high as 40,000 kilometers per hour. Mission Control feared that the CM's heat shields were damaged in the accident and waited four long minutes without radio communication from the crew. Then, Apollo 13's parachutes were spotted over the Pacific. All three astronauts splashed down safely into the ocean. To this day, no human has traveled as far out into space as the crew of Apollo 13, the only astronauts to orbit the dark side of the moon. <laughs>